exact coordinates data? This is what we beamed up, sir. We should split up and walk around. That is unadvisable, sir. I believe we should. Stay in the group. I'll take that into consideration, Mr. Wall. But now, look, over here, sir. Look, over here, sir. It is their phasers. Their phasers are laying them on the ground. The same exact spot. Yes, that observance not about Mr. Wolf. Yes, I believe that this is where the creature had attacked. You said that the uh, you said that the sensors indicated no life forms, Mr. Data. That is correct. It was Jordy who picked up the life sign of his visor. I believe he called it heat imagery, sir. Is there any way that you could program your circuits to do maybe the same thing, to pick up nothing but heat, sensory? I am an android, sir. I am unlike all humans. I can readjust my sensory projection to pick up heat vision, as Jordy does with his visors. Very well. Make it so, Mr. Data. Um, sir, you do have to reroute my system to my neurological pathway to the neurological networking, sir. And how do I do that, Mr. Data? I am not an engineer like Jordy. I will instruct you through it, sir. Very well then, make it so. And what will I do? Survey the rest of the area on foot. Walk around. Look out for strange signs. Do be careful. Have your phaser set on stun, Mr. Wolf. We don't want to hurt anything here. Right. But if I am forced to defend myself, then do so, Mr. Wolf. But until then, do nothing. I, sir. Now then, Mr. Data. Is it this patch here, Mr. Data? Yes, sir. Ugh. Ugh. Is there something wrong, sir? Well, it's just that Mr. Data, as humans, aren't accustomed to seeing our insides. Not enough looking at somebody else's insides. I assure you, it's very mechanical and transaponic, sir. Yes, Mr. Data, I'm sure it is. It's just... I'm not used to, uh, you appear so human. I appreciate the compliment, sir, but I do wish to get this done and over with. Very well, Mr. Data. Yes, yes, we must hurry. Oh, my. Am I going to have to use any tools, Mr. Data? No, sir. It is a simple sensory receptor. I believe you can use your fingers. Very well, Mr. Data. Now, shall we get started, Captain? Yes, I believe so, Mr. Data. <coughs> if you will push the red connector rewritering wire and to the blue connector rewriting wire, and then if you will slow down, Mr. Data, my hands don't move as fast as yours. Oh, yes, very well. Where was you stuck on, Captain? I believe Mr. Data is somewhere between the blue wire receptor connector.
Are you sure that interesting doesn't go into your brain? What do you mean, Doctor? I am in charge of the bridge if you want to leave. There's too much responsibility to put on you. Besides, the captain told me that I was responsible. As I was responsible for Jordy when this all happened. Perhaps I should check in on him. Now perhaps he's busy, Will. What do you mean he's busy? How do you... Oh yeah, you can sense things. I forget sometimes. Perhaps in a little while I will retreat to my quarters counselor and need your assistance. I do feel quite some guilt for what happened to Jordy. Commander, let me remind you, it is not your fault. Jordy's responsible for his own actions. What happened down to that planet was... No. No. As his commanding officer, I'm responsible for the crew and responsible for the things and going-ons of this ship. I should have... I could have... Please. Will, there was not much you could do. I mean, you did all you can. I feel your pain, believe me. I feel your sense of responsibility and duty. You want to live up to your name as ship's commander and number one officer. However, you cannot dwell on these things. Please, Counselor, no more. We will talk about this further in private. Right now, at this moment, the captain's very life could be in jeopardy. And then the black wire precipitators is connected to the blue button Verskalokater. Verskalokater. Why, thank you, Data. Is this it? Yes. Now all you have to do is press the red button. Very good. <laughs> there. All done. Is that better? Well, we'll know here in a few seconds, Captain. It appears to be working, sir. I am already picking up some kind of centropodic sin signal. In other words, my eyes are working as Jordy's would. Very good, Data. Start, starting the tracking sequence now, Captain. Yes, this is the way Jordy's eyes work, sir. I am seeing everything in heat. So far, I see no life forms. Only rocks. Minerals. Certain neutrons. There is some heat coming this way, Captain. It is about 50 centimeters that way. Yes, it is there, right there. Mr. Data. Mr. Data, what are you seeing? I am picking up some sort of object, rather large, with follicles. A rather intriguing forehead, it seems. If I am correct. What are you looking at? Oh, I I am sorry. I am very sorry. I am sorry. I am very sorry. Stop staring at me. Mr. Data, explain. I appear to be looking at Mr. Worf, sir. Yes, he is. He keeps staring at me. Mr. Data, you are looking at Mr. Wolf. Perhaps we should split up, sir. It would be the best. Or perhaps we should stay together so that I am not looking at one of the crew members. We should stay together, Mr. Data, yes. We don't want you looking at us. Correct. Please, Mr. Wolf. Stand next to us so I'm not looking at just you. What is he doing, Captain? Well, Mr. Worf, Mr. Data was looking at you the way Jordy sees people. I'm afraid he picked you up as a body heat sensor. I don't understand it completely, but 